All right, well, we've finally finished our um, 12 volt setup in the back of the cruiser here. Man, she's taken some time trying to get this all sorted on the road, but um, yeah, all but done. Bit of iTech World gear, in, uh, inverter in there, big battery. Let's, uh, let's get in and I'll show you, look. Mid-install here. Um, she's definitely a little bit hard trying to do this stuff in the middle of a campsite. Hannah will show you. We're literally pulled up here at a um, at a national park, and as you can see, you really got to pull everything out. So if I can do this in a campsite, you can definitely put this together at home. So what we got going on, I've got the drawer pulled out, bit of a mission to get that out. Had to pull the top off, the stoppers out, everything else. And the main thing is, is so that we can get the inverter. So we've got the 2000 watt iTech World inverter. And we need to get that inside here. Well, it's not going to be on the inside, but we need to be able to drill the holes from the inside of the drawer so that then I can flip it, chuck it in its slot and uh, have it mounted in here. So this is your wing of the drawer system and it'll be mounted down in there, but holy. You can see on the front here, so you got, uh, this is your ports here for the front that's gonna be for the um, inverter, and then down the bottom you've got the battery monitor from iTech World as well. I'll show you a full look once we've done. And we got the full install in, but what a mission. How exciting. So good. Oh, yeah. Wheaties for breakfast. Whee! <laughs> Alrighty, well, new location, hopefully getting towards the last leg of our um, install here. So we've got the inverter in, ports in, battery monitor in. We had to make a stop in um, Port Macquarie. So there was a little shop there called 12. It's a 12 volt auto uh, sparky shop. And mainly for the cabling to be able to run this big girl. So this cable's called um, double zero BNS and uh, you definitely need to go pretty hefty for when you're running a 2000 watt inverter. So you can see here we've got the, um, the shunt for the iTech World BM500. This one here, even your negative side of things had to be pr pretty solid as well. So this one will go to the battery and then onto the battery side of the shunt and then the other negative will come straight through onto this. And then all of the negatives that come off the battery here will drop down onto the shunt also. Hopefully we can get him sorted. The last little piece to the puzzle will be a remote switch. So turn the inverter on and off from outside so I don't have to keep pulling everything out and uh, flicking the switch down in here. So it'll be a remote switch here bit of a dial on there tell you the load and battery status and happy days what a mission we've actually got ourselves a little cabin here at the moment mum's doing a bit of cleaning because she spilt the fish on the um i spilt the fish on the wadding pool anyway get to it show you look once you're done all right well here we go <clears throat> we have got um We've got everything hooked up. I haven't yet tidied everything up. So just want to see if the inverter works. The little shunt's running. So you can see this on here. This is what it's drawing at the moment. We've got uh, the fridge and then the freezer up towards the front. So that's how much we're pulling at the moment. We've had the fridge and freezer off for a little bit. So both of them are fairly cranking to get it back onto temperature. We have got this fella hooked up um, and ready to roll. So we're going to give it a bit of a run, a bit of a test run here. 
4.30 in the Arvo, so we don't really need toast, but... Oh, better flick that switch, eh? Yeah. There we go, she's locked in there. Alright, toast is on. Let's see what she pumps out. Ooh, she pulls a fair bit. Pulling 70 amps. Wouldn't want to have to do too many bits of toast. Anyway, you can smell her cooking. She's on the way. I'll show you, look, once we've got him all tidied up, you can hear the inverter now. She's fairly singing down in here. You can see the fans working on the little, um, little labels and stuff in there. Very cool. All right, toast for brekkies. All right, coming to the end of the little uh, install here. So last little piece to the puddle is, is the, um, the remote switch. So this one will allow us, because that's inside sort of in the drawers there, this one will allow us to turn the inverter on and off without having to pull all of our gear out like we have here, just to get in and turn that uh, inverter on. You get this one mounted up and then I'll show you, look once it's all done be good to finally get it done. All right, we've got a little board mounted here. Um, come up pretty good, I think. Fits in there nice. So we've got the um, switches for our appliances and stuff little monitor down the bottom and our remote switch the last thing for that is is our little cord here so this one plugs into the back of the board and then straight into your inverter pretty simple all right well here we go first little test run Let's see how it goes uh, in the instruction it says to plug into the back of your board and into your inverter and then make sure that the switch on the inverter is actually turned off. Um, if it's turned on, apparently it doesn't work, but um, let's see. We got lights. Uh, yeah, so we had all of the lights on. As soon as you flick the switch, it comes on. All of the lights turn on to make sure that they're all working. You got a fault light, all of the load lights are on, power's on, and the battery is currently oh, it's 85 percent but She's fairly up there. <clears throat> um, you're right. Next little thing to do is just throw a load on it and see if this one comes up. We've got a load light coming on there now. So we've got one bar, which is sort of sitting way down at 20%. So we have got a little load on there. This thing here surely doesn't pull that much at all. But I did get the toaster. The toaster's from Kmart and I think it only draws about 800. Um, and we've got a 2,000 watt inverter. Let's fire her up and we'll see what goes on here. No toast in there. We've got lights. How's our load? Two bars of load. Oh, she's going up. And we're drawing 98 amps at the moment. So we've only got one fridge running and a toaster and this double battery charger bank. We're drawing 91 amps. Excellent. At least she's all working. Happy about that, finally. Well, here we have it. So this is your driver's side, rear, rear seat area. So what we've done in here, a little bit different. We've got a, this is our closed drawer. So it's not too bad, which means that we've got um, a big storage space underneath. So you, you would have seen a seat in here before, but Bit of sheet metal made up in can, sorted this out. Bit of um, cabinet making ply, and then uh, battery in underneath. So there's your powerhouse down in the back here. What we've got is an iTech World 200 slimline battery. It fits perfectly, uh, perfectly in there behind little Mrs. Seat. Um, what we've got that runs in that one, I've got an iTech, iTech World. 2000 watt inverter and that one conveniently sits in the wing of these rear drawer systems 
So it sits perfectly in there, that one's mounted up. Off the uh, end of that, we've got two extension cords that are plugged in and they're just wired into these ones. Um, so easy, easy to use it. You flick that switch. Uh, well, before we get, get into flicking the switch, you need to make sure that you can turn your remote uh, inverter switch on. So that was the last little thing that we did to it was put the inverter switch in, which means when we've got the back full of gear, as you can imagine, living out of the car and driving on the road and all of that all the time, we would have had to pull this, uh, pull this opening off to get into the inverter, turn the inverter on and then put your appliances on. So the little, the little remote switch has come in super handy. You can see um, our little dial down the bottom. So at the moment we're sucking out 0.8 of an amp with the uh, little switch turned on. We'll turn that one off and she'll drop back to zero. Uh, the fridge isn't powered on at the moment. She's running, but uh, what do you call the little motor and it's not working. Um, so we're sitting on zero, which takes us to our, our next little little gauge here. So this is the iTech World battery monitor. This one's awesome. So we've already got it programmed in for uh, for a 200 amp hour battery. We're sitting at 80 80 percent at the moment. You can reset that one. So once your battery is fully charged, you can reset that just by holding the button, and it'll take it back and uh, put it back up to 100 uh, percent once you've fully charged the battery with the battery charger. Um, the, the middle one here, so we go into, we've already talked about this, so this is your amps that is going out, and we're currently sitting at no zero amps, so we're not using anything, the, the fridge is just sitting there at, at idle. Um, and we've got 161 amps in that battery capacity that's left in there. So that's all we've got in this one at the moment. When uh, it's fully charged, obviously, this will say it's at 200 amps and uh, we're currently sitting at 13.28 volts. So definitely awesome little bit of gear. Install's been pretty hectic, so it's probably taken me maybe three months all up to get the install done. Um, yeah, life on the road, eh? She's, uh, she has its little challenges, but she's all but done. Very happy with it, and uh, the iTech World gear seems to be working a treat. Happy days. One little thing I did forget to mention. So I did say at the back there where we've got our inverter, we plugged two extension cords in there. The first little power point that I showed you at the back was the first one, and then we've got another one that sits in here. So cable runs in underneath and then comes up through the carpet on the other side of the um, other side of that board there and comes into the back. So this, this power point in here, this one is for when we're running the computer driving along we can still charge your computer off the front here because down in the back <clears throat> when you've got the back door closed up you can't get um you can't plug anything into here because it sits too close so that little bugger up the front works perfectly anyway thanks for watching that one we'll uh keep an eye out we'll, uh, we might do a full rig rundown on the whole cruiser let me know in the comments if that's something that you might be interested in and show you sort of everything throughout but uh, at the moment that's just the 12 volt system you might even do a bit of a rig rundown on that bad boy there let us know cheers mate.